Hello there, welcome back to another edition of Pimp My Filter and in this video we're going to take a look at a little internal filter that currently relies on a cartridge system and this one is the Marina I-110 or I-110 although I prefer it if it was called 110i and then it was introduced by Ali G because you'd go 110i it's actually quite a nicely made little filter. We'll get it out of the box and I'll show you how it currently works or how it is currently intended to work. Okay, that's our filter there. Pretty standard sort of a thing. Suckers on the back. That sticks against your tank. And because these suckers slot into the main housing, you can actually lift that off and leave the suckers stuck to your tank. That is a good design. And the suckers are actually quite big for a filter of this type. So that is a major bonus. You know, your filter is not going to start sliding down your tank once these suckers get a little bit tired. So water is drawn in the bottom here. Also here. And also here. So it's got a good, well diffused draw area. Our pump sits in the bottom. And the pump actually pumps water through the centre of this pad. And that's the first of our cartridges. So in the middle of here, we've got a little bit of what looks like zeolite, which is a rock which helps to remove ammonia. It's described on the box as just something to remove ammonia, so I'm assuming it's zeolite. And I think in the top of here, we've got some carbon. It looks very black. That's white. This is very black in here. So I'm thinking that there is some carbon in there, it feels like carbon. So water comes up through our chemical media, which is the zeolite and the carbon, and then it bleeds out through this fine pad back into this main chamber. And then from there, it goes through this plastic grid, which is described as having a big surface area for biological colonization. So basically, this is the thing that the bacteria is meant to grow on. It's certainly better than nothing, but I think we can do quite a lot better. Once it's gone through those, water comes out, back to your tank. It's a very, very simple filter. Now there's certainly nothing wrong with using this cartridge. It does have some useful components. You know, it's got your zeolite, it's got your carbon, it's got your fine pad. It is going to keep the water clean and healthy to a point. But you do have to replace it regularly and that's going to get expensive. It's not going to be long before you've spent more money on cartridges than you did on the filter. So that can go. I don't know what to say about that. I mean, that's not a place for biological activity. You know, I can see why they've done it. They wanted to fill a little bit of space, but it, this thing needs proper filter media. This ain't it. It can go as well. So that really leaves us with pretty much just a blank canvas there. You know, that's a really simple container. You can see where the pump is sitting at the bottom. Pumps water straight up. So really all we need is a bit of foam in the bottom of there and then media above it. It's a really simple one. So I've cut a little bit of coarse pond foam. That's the bumpy stuff. That's gonna go in first. There you go. That's our foam in the bottom of there. Fits in quite nicely. And on top of that, we're gonna add some medium density foam. There's, now there's no real need to have anything finer than this because the media is gonna be sitting on top of this. It's gonna be compressing it slightly and that's gonna allow it to catch very, very fine muck. So really we're just going coarse and then medium density foam. Just like that. And that actually leaves us quite a big space for media. Now, this isn't very much in this bag, but in here we've got 180 grams of the very, very porous bio gravel, made from the same stuff as the bio home filter media. It's in a mesh bag, just so we can remove it easily. And that just slots in there like that. 
So now we've got that absolutely packed out with very porous, very bacteria receptive media. And that's pretty much done it. I mean, to me, that is now the filter fully upgraded. So thank you very much to Bradley who sent me this up. I'm gonna send it back to him in its pimped out form now. So hopefully we'll get that in the next few days. Let's go on to find out what size of tank this would be suitable for. Fluval or Hagen or Marina say it would be suitable for a tank up to 100 litres, which is roughly 25 to 26 US gallons. There's n I don't think there's any way you're going to get a full cycle, which is the reduction of ammonia, nitrite and nitrate for a tank of 100 litres. But I would imagine that, you know, zero ammonia, zero nitrite should be pretty easy to achieve in a tank up to 100 litres. I would say if you wanted a full cycle, which is zero ammonia, zero nitrite and zero nitrate for a normally stocked tank, you'd probably be installing this on a tank which is roughly 30 to 40 litres, which I think is about 8 to 10 and a half US gallons. It really, really is a small tank filter. But it's a pretty good one. I think the only thing holding these back from being in a lot more tanks is possibly the retail price. This one was bought from World of Water and it's actually got at least four different prices on it. £30.69, £24.99, £20.69 and £15. So I'm presuming it was bought at the £15 mark because there's no further reductions on it. If that's the case, 15 quid for that is pretty good, especially when it wouldn't cost you much to actually make it effective. That's a good buy. Even at 20 quid, possibly 24 quid, that's not bad. It's a well-made filter, but I mean, it's a Hagen product, you know? Hagen basically is the parent company of Fluval and Marina. They, they do have a, a good quality control, you know? All of their stuff's pretty good. I don't think I've seen one of their products that's been bad quality yet. I'm sure there'll be some out there, you know. Most companies have at least one thing that's not up to scratch. But so far, with the Hagen stroke, Marina stroke, Fluval stuff, it all seems pretty good. So that's the one I would recommend. If you've got anything you'd like to send me, by all means get in touch. My contact details are in the video description, which is below if you're watching it on a laptop or something. Or they're in the pinned comment. If you're watching this on a mobile device or a tablet, you might have to click a little arrow to bring up all the comments. You'll find my contact details there. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Isn't that just the manliest cup of coffee you've ever seen in your life?